What is up, everybody? Welcome back to JK Gaming. It's your boy. This is NASCAR Thunder 2003. However, it is not simulating 20 years of NASCAR Thunder 2003. This is something completely different. Um, yeah, a lot of people seem to enjoy the lightning challenge video that probably got put out a while ago at this point because I don't know how long this is going to take to do. But, 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 but. I am doing something crazy. I'm going to change history for the better, in my opinion. We are controlling Mark Martin, and we are going to win him a championship. As you know, well-documented, zero-time champ Mark Martin. We're going to win Mark Martin a freaking championship. Lucas Carver probably screaming right now. That's cool. That's cool. Love you, Luke. Long time, buddy. We're going to win Mark Martin a championship. Um, shout out Slap Shoes on YouTube. Uh, Slap puts out a lot of good content. And he's detailed Mark Martin's uh, championship downfalls, we'll say. He finished second twice. Uh, I don't remember what year it was. I literally was just watching the video. Uh, but he should have won one championship, but a kind of bogus points deduction from a penalty took that opportunity away from him and he lost the championship by like 26 points to Dale Earnhardt Sr. Uh, so we're going to rectify history here in 2002. Yes, it's a 12 race schedule. I work a full-time job. Give me a break. No, it is not on rookie mode. It probably should be. But if you end up liking this video, Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment something down below. Comment if you want to see me win somebody else a championship. Um, there's a career mode coming at some point. This will give you a taste of what is to come in that. Uh, if you watched the lightning challenge video that got put out, I don't know when. But if you watched that uh, and enjoyed that, you're probably going to love this. This is not going to be every race. This I'm going to fit all 12 races into this one episode. With the highlights and a lot of voiceover work done afterwards so that all being said let's get this thing started i'm gonna go to daytona i don't even know what the schedule looks like actually let's look at the schedule so we have daytona atlanta texas uh the coke 600 at charlotte michigan which is nice uh that's where i get most of my my uh, thumbnails pocono oh no oh no uh, the Brickyard, which didn't go too bad in the Lightning Challenges. Uh, Watkins Glen, I'm pumped for that. The Mountain Dew Southern 500 at Darlington. Uh, the she oh, Chevy Monte Carlo 400 at Richmond. The Protection 1 400 at Kansas. And then we're going to end it at Talladega. Nice. So, buckle up, strap in. We're going to get this thing started. Obviously, Daytona 500. We're going to go win this thing. We're going to win Mark Martin a freaking championship, boys. So here we are at Daytona. First qualifying effort of the year. This is voiceover John, by the way. Uh, not too great. I don't know how to qualify at Super Speedways. We start 32nd as we head to our dual race. Now, I learned a little trick about these older NASCAR games, uh, setting the trans tra transmission to manual. Shout out uh, Mark LaFear, something like that. Um, watch some, some of his older NASCAR stuff, but I would use that in every, every race except for one, and you would see it pay off like right here, just gaining a bunch of spots on the start. Well, not a bunch of spots, but gaining some spots on the start. And keeping in touch with the pack, and actually one of the races I forgot to do it at was Talladega at the end of the season. So we are trying to work our way up through the field. Only gained a couple of spots until later here where we make our first bit of contact. Very unmark Martin like of us as we run into the back of Shane Hall in the 63. It doesn't hurt us too bad as we're going to just kind of move him up the track and keep on going on our merry way. Then a nice little checkup in the top lane is going to help us gain a couple of couple more spots one more spot for sure maybe two as we go past 87 year old Casey Kane and then I believe we're gonna run into the back bumper of Bobby Labonte maybe not here um, oh that's right Sterling Marlin dies and then we run in the back of Bobby Labonte not sure what happened to old Sterling but um, he's fine he's fine a little bit later 
Two laps to go, well, a lap and a half to go on the back of the leaders. Jimmy Johnson's going to cut down in front of us. Managed to stay off of him this time, thank God. I'm going to hear it from all the Mark Martin fans about how uh, dirty of a racer I am at some point as we go along in this uh, video. But coming to the white flag door to door with future seven time champ, not even a race winner yet here. Um, I don't believe. Or maybe he was. Maybe he's a one time race winner. I don't know. I'm not looking at stats. I can't remember everything. A little bit of a door shot. We're going to move by him. Harvick went with us on the bottom. He's going to help us out. And then he's going to better his position also moving up in front of JJ. And then it's just lane management from here on out. Trying to keep Ryan Newman and Kevin Harvick behind us. Harvick thinks he's going to make a move. Uh-uh, buddy. We're going to slam the door. Going in to three and four. And that is all she wrote. We're going to go from very deep in the field here in our duel to... Taking the checkered flag. Yes, yeah, surprise. We have half the straightaway to go. They ain't catching us, though. Checkered flag. Dual winner. We're going to start, I think, third in the Daytona 500. I lied. We're starting fourth. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember, honestly. But starting fourth. Uh, manual transmission again. Going to help us out. We're going to sneak. Oh, thought about sneaking down between Kenseth and Jeff Gordon. Uh, ended up doing it. I didn't think I had enough room. I forgot about that. And then we're about we're running the back of Matt Kenseth. But we don't, so thanks NASCAR Thunder 2003 for slowing us down when we're about to run into somebody. But this is where it pays the dividends. Out of one and two, we're going to be door-to-door -door with Dale Jarrett, and we are going to cruise on by him with help from the Rainbow Warrior, Jeff Gordon, behind us, or the Flame flame Warrior? I don't know. He's, he's got flames on his car now, but still rainbow-colored. Um, we are leading at the Daytona 500. And then a little bit of a incident here. Um, Jeff Gordon. I did not mean to do we that. We get into him. We didn't mean to do it, obviously. Um, not sure if I'm going to leave me talking in there, but that's our first bit of little contact in a race that actually matters. Now, skipping ahead to green flag pit stops and a reoccurring theme. I don't know how to fucking pit. Um, yeah, speeding penalty. The first of many. Shocker. Uh, but we're going to take a little bit of a gamble here. We're only going to take right side tires. Again, shout out Mark. I should look up his name and how to say I mean, I can't pronounce his name even if I'm looking at it. I'll link him in the description. But, yeah. First pit stop goes swimmingly. Other than the speeding penalty, right side tires only. Full of fuel! Get me out there, boys! Oh, wait. Just kidding. We have to wait on our penalty because I suck. But we're going to pull out of the pits, and we're going to get back to trucking. We came out with a huge lead. Matt Kenseth somehow cut into it. So it's down to the two Roush boys here on the white flag lap. And Kenseth, what's he got for us? Don't mind that left front tire. It's fine. We're going to make it. I was a little nervous that we weren't going to make it, but I honestly, I would have just wrecked Kenseth to try and win it anyways. Kenseth looks low, block him there, looks high. We're going to go back up in front of him and block him again. Then he's going to look low one more time. And just like we did in the duel, we're going to slam the door shut, hug that yellow line, turn the map back on for some odd ass reason. I don't know why it was off in the first place and slide back up in front of him one more time and then leave the door open like, hey, you want to take it? Nope, just kidding. Too bad. We're not going to get loose off the corner. Harvick's not going to fucking beat us. Mark Martin, Daytona 500 champion. Beautiful, beautiful shots here in Victory Lane. Um, very nice. I actually kind of like this Victory Lane celebration. I, again, something that old NASCAR games, or old car, ah, whatever. Old games had, new games need it. As we head to Atlanta, a uh, terrible first lap qualifying effort. And the second lap, it doesn't get a whole lot better as we only go up to 15th. Um, and again, manual transmission, we're going to put it to good use as we're going to get by a whole bunch of people on the initial start. Going to be three wide going into turn one, hook in the bottom. Beautiful. Just like Kevin Harvick taught me. And then we're going to just nudge Bill Elliott for good measure. And then almost bust our ass because we oh suck at the God. game. And then Sterling Marlin tries to die again and gives us some more free spots. Just now having to needing to take it nice and easy and we do the exact opposite of that and almost wipe out two of our teammates because i'm a genius 
Lap two going on to lap three. Jeff Gordon tries to block us. No, no, sir. It ain't happening. We move him out of the way. Again, very un Mark Martin like. Sorry, Mark Martin fanboys that like clean driving. I can't drive with a joystick and controller. It's terrible. I mentioned it in the Thunder Lightning Challenge video. I wish I could set my wheel and pedals up. But this is going to lead to an epic duel with Harvick as we slide up off the bottom and, you know, Thor slam him out of the way. It's fine. I don't even know if we ended up leading that lap or not. Uh, lap eight, we're gonna get ready to pit, and this is this is a disaster. This is unmitigated disaster. And still going too fast, genius. Uh, another speeding penalty. I'm the best in the world. Best in the world when it comes to hitting pit road. And then this is something that kinda helped me later in the video, is learning how chaotic pit road is. So we cycled out into 24th, and it's it's not looking good. After a great start, winning Daytona, now on to Atlanta, and we're struggling a little bit. Two speeding penalties and two races. We're going to have to find a way to knife our way through the field. It's going to start by taking Ricky Rudd, and I think that was Dale Jarrett up top three wide. Um, no, that wasn't Dale Jarrett. I'm not sure who it was, but uh, we slide up into Rudd. Our patented move, just sliding up off the bottom door, slamming people. It's fine, and then I don't know how, why we have rocket boosters through the quad oval, but we do as we almost get loose again. And then two laps to go. We're in 11th. We just got by Terry Labonte, and then we blow turns one and two because, of course we do. I overdrive everything. That's what I do. Terry gets back to our inside. We're going to pinch him down a little bit. No contact was made. I'm pretty proud of myself. I did not make any contact there. And then all hell's breaking loose again as we're all over the place and somehow don't slide all the way up into the wall. I'm not quite sure how I did it or how I didn't do it, but white flag out. And here we come again. Everybody, for some reason, slow through the quad oval. And we slide inside of Dale Jarrett, slide up into him again, almost bust our ass, somehow save it, Sterling Marlin back to our inside. And we have a top 10 spot. We're good. We're not going to try and do anything stupid in the turns three and four, right? No, of course we are. We're going to run the top. And, yeah, we're struggling to hang on, struggling to hang on, struggling to hang on. And Terry Labonte slides back by us, and we almost wreck him, but we don't because we're a good guy, and we'll settle for 11th place here in Atlanta. On to Texas, and this was my first time ever driving Texas in this game, and we qualified sixth on the first lap, and that's where we would end up starting, not improving on lap two. Hi, Kyle Petty. How are you doing? We're going to just mosey on down here using our nice and fancy manual transmission, and we're up a spot already right off the rip, and then trying to stick nice to the bottom, and then big boy slide. Um, Sterling Marlin hit the wall behind us, too, I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering correctly. And then Kyle Petty just all over the place in our mirrors. We power slide into three and four, go past Johnny Benson, slide up in front of him. Oh, boy, that was tight. Tighter than... Never mind. We're not gonna... We're not gonna go there. But then we have our sights set on the front, two. Jeff Burton and the king of Texas himself, or, again, future king of Texas, Jimmy Johnson. And big slide... And I don't know how we don't die, honestly. Um, we somehow got past Jeff Burton. Yeah, I'm sure it was clean. Every, every pass in this fucking video so far has been clean. And we're to Jimmy Johnson's inside, and this is another humdinger of a battle. Uh, just hanging on, trying not to wreck him again. I'm surprised we didn't slide up into him, because we've done that with every, everybody else between here and Atlanta. And then we slot in behind JJ. And, but we're not done. We're not done. We're going for it. We want that bonus point, and we are going to get it by, I'm sure, not much. Maybe half a car as we almost wrecked coming out of another quad oval. And it's just been a disaster. And here we go again, pit road. I mean, most professional pit road entry you are going to see on YouTube as we finally make it onto pit road without any issues. No speeding. One for three, 33%. We would cycle out into sixth, thanks to my great, great pit stop uh, ability of getting on pit road. That made no sense, but nothing really makes sense to me is we almost wrecked Dale Jr., which 
is a precursor to something that you're going to have to pay attention to later. And I don't know what that cut was, but we're just going to ignore it. Um, we're right on the tail. Johnny Benson, Sterling Marlin, trying not to wreck again. Um, obviously, I am not good at the video game. I'm prepared to be roasted in the comments. As we are just fighting tough, fighting tooth and nail here. Johnny Benson on our outside. We're by him. Up into third. Four laps to go. Now three laps to go as we almost wreck our teammate yet again. But manage to keep off of him with a sick power slide and then somehow get a great run through the exit of four and then move him because we're a bad teammate. And sights set on Jimmy Johnson taking the white flag. We've made up a lot of ground, but now we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jimmy at one of his best tracks. And, I mean, I was not surprised to see him up here. I mean, every time in the 20-year sim, he qualifies on the pole here. So, running good, down the back stretch. I mean, trying not to wreck him. And since the outside worked so well at Atlanta, we're going to try it here. I don't know what's going through my mind. I don't know how we don't wreck ourselves. We don't wreck Jimmy Johnson. We clap the wall, and somehow we pull off the dub. All right, so our first check of the points. We are 26 points ahead of Matt Kenza, 38 points ahead of Dale Jr., 55 ahead of Jeff Burton. Uh, two wins on the season. We're doing it. Uh, that Texas race, <laughs> oh boy, that was sketchy. Um, yeah, we're not doing too bad though. We're on, we're on the right path. I don't know where Jeff Gordon's at. I've kind of fucked him up. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I do not want him anywhere near me because he's good and he's in 20 seconds. So no worries. No worries. Good thing. The all-star race does not count for points. I don't, I think we started like fourth or third or some shit. I don't know. But, um, trying to get a little practice in for the Coke 600. We're going to tap the wall, tap the wall and then bust our ass. And then we're going to get our ass busted again uh, again this is why I'm very happy that this is not a points race and this kids is why you should hold the brakes we're just gonna roll right back up into traffic and murder everybody in the blow uh, fantastic great stuff definitely not gonna happen in the coke 600 right I don't know we're gonna have to wait and find out as we almost almost lose it twice cutting right to qualifying for the coke 600 we were initially 10th and where do we put it on the pole all right, trying to repeat a little bit of history here, I believe. If I read correctly, Mark Martin won the 2002 Coke 600. And it'd be a nice, nice little points day. So, I think after looking at the standings, the thing that's really helping us right now, points-wise, is the fact we've led a lap every race. Because I'm going to blow three and four, and that's great just commonplace but oh god jimmy wow okay well we let our one lap we got bonus points but we i think we just about killed everybody oh god all right back to uh focusing and back to the voiceover thanks for the plug past me um yeah we are still in the lead here and we're gonna come to pit and I mean, obviously, honestly, not obviously, honestly, one of our better attempts at trying to pit, we don't get sideways, we somehow make it on the pit road, then a caution comes out. Oh, no. What does this mean? That's a great question. We're about to find out. <laughs> what the fuck? So... No damage done. I really figured we were going to get screwed by having to, or not having to pit, but being on pit road while the caution was coming out, it actually puts us back out in the lead. I think because we were racing back to the line, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, so still in the lead, and we would have to go to battle with Jeff Gordon and Bill Elliott, and we would almost wreck Bill Elliott again in the tri-oval, or SWAT oval, I guess, technically. I just have so many issues with quad ovals. I have to admit, right now, assuming I don't get caught, I'm not very proud of this win. Mark Martin would be disappointed too. Yes, Mark Martin would be very disappointed. That was past me. Um, this is another reason why Mark Martin would be very disappointed. We are all by ourselves. Huge lead. 
And we are just going to lose it. We're so good. I don't know if I said anything there. We're going to get bodied and destroy Dale Jarrett. Uh, as we cut back to live action after the caution, we, I don't remember where we restarted, but huge save. I don't know how I saved that. And then Shane Hall, get the fuck out of here. Um, um, I did not, I did not mean, mean to read that either. I'll be 100% honest. We destroy the back half of the field. And, I mean, nothing exciting is going to happen here. Don't think that I, like, somehow end up finishing 7th or better. Uh, we don't catch anybody, but I would just like to take this time to apologize to Shane Hall, and I would like to apologize to all my viewers for being trash at the video game and for absolutely choking away a Coke 600 win. We would have been two for two in Crown Jewels up to this point, and uh, I had to throw it away. Oh my gosh. There was just pure death in the infield as Michigan, we are going to qualify third. Which, you know what that means, it's time to jump everybody on the restart because manual transmission OP as we are going to, I thought we were going to body Jeff Gordon, I honestly forgot what happened, I'm just talking over this as it all happens. Uh, but yeah, we take the lead going into one and then we're going to slide up and probably lose the lead, or no, oh yeah, that's right, Good Jeff Lord. Gordon gets into us. I don't know what I'm doing wrong at this point. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I even said I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not sure how I'm going to edit that part. But it's time to pit, and we all know what this means. It's probably time to watch me fuck something up because my pit has been so good in this game. And how about that? That's like a perfect pit entry. And we would cycle back to the lead when a caution would come out late in the race, which made me a little nervous at first as we're going to watch Jimmy Spencer die. Oh god, Jimmy Spencer. After the restart, we just absolutely checked out. I mean, nobody could touch us. I mean, I, I didn't even do anything. I know you can do a lot to the setups of the car, as maybe I'll try that the next time I do one of these, as you can see me almost bust my ass again. Also, this was on veteran difficulty, so the next one's going to be on legend. I just didn't want to have to deal with a bunch of shit trying to get Mark Martin a championship win if we could. We're going to come home with a dub. We're starting to mount a little bit of a gap, boys. 65 points to Kurt Busch, 73 to Dale Jr. Almost a full race between us and Jeff Burton. And fuck you, Jeff Gordon. You suck. Not a fan of Jeff Gordon. As we head to Pocono, which is the bane of my existence, but there is a surprise. What the hell? As you can tell, completely mind blown by the fact that we started on pole. And then you're gonna watch me blow the tunnel turn because Life is fun, and the tunnel turn is not fun, because for some reason I can't make it, which makes me scared, because the next race is the Brickyard, which is basically four tunnel turns. Never heard it put better by anyone other than Mark himself. Shout out again, Mark. Uh, Mark L. on YouTube. Uh, slick little move, just sneaking between old Harrison Burton and I think it was Jeremy Mayfield. I took, I quit looking for a second and it was. We're going to run down Jimmy Spencer, just great horsepower advantage, and then we're, you know, eight tires are better than four. We're just going to body him out of the way, because surely that's never happened before, and somehow save another huge power slide, and we're going to save another one. And I don't know if it's me overdriving. Sorry, Ricky Craven. I don't know if it's me overdriving or what, but then we're going to decide to dive to pit lane, which was a really fucking stupid idea. <laughs> As we're going to speed again, we would cycle out in 20 seconds. And I mean, bad day, just, it's going to get worse. Uh, it just, yeah, the one time I think I have the tunnel turn figured out, nope, you don't. And then you look like a schmuck because you can't drive through the wall and then we're going to get destroyed. Um, yeah, not pretty. I hate Pocono with a passion. And then you're going to watch, first off, my controller disconnects. And then my emulator starts having an absolute stroke. I mean, it's bad. It is so bad. And this is not the first time it happened. And it's not the last time it's going to happen either. Just fair warning. So I might try and turn down the audio so you don't have to listen to it. Just bleeding out basically but yeah not pretty as you know we're not done either we're gonna bring out one more caution 
Just for the hell of it, because we have a chance still. Don't forget, kids, you Maybe always have a chance. Uh, we did we did not have a chance, as obviously we would finish dead last, or second to last, actually. I don't think we finished last, but we're going to back that up by putting it on pole at the Brickyard. What character development is this? We would check out, us and Jimmy Johnson would just leave the field, and then, of course, we're going to speed getting on pit road. Wouldn't have it any other way. Cycle out into fourth, tracking down Jimmy Johnson. And I just, as you can tell, I'm super smooth on the controller. Still in the tire tracks of the 48 car. Look out, son, here I come. And I learned a valuable lesson. The uh, You really need to be down by the white line if you wanna pass the AI. Cause they will just door slam you if you try to run any higher as evidenced here look at oh us my God. nice clean pass on well not so clean Sorry, mikey. pass on mikey as jimmy johnson died in the background <laughs> um now we're tracking down johnny benson johnny benson just won a race in the 20 year sim he's gonna have to wait uh as we're gonna try and make this work side by side oh keeping it off of him i don't know how mark martin's pissed that Johnny Benson stole his Haviland sponsor, uh, not Haviland, Babylon sponsor. I'm just stupid. And then somehow keep it off of him, not once, but twice, as we take the lead coming to the white flag. And I do not know what to do as we start this white flag lap because I'm not fast going into the first and third corner, but through the second and fourth corner, I'm pretty good as uh, we almost choke it away. I, I almost got loose. I had say something about almost choking almost it really away choke that away. in the recording that's gonna get edited out yes we boys. come home to win the brickyard 400 after a disaster is spoken out and then on to Watkins Glen the qualifying didn't go great didn't go great um, it was pretty pretty shit I'm not gonna lie starting 31st and for the only time this video is you're gonna watch my emulator struggle again uh, for the only time in this video I used a setup I found online and put it in and um, it was pretty good it was pretty good as we're gonna use you know OP manual transmission to the back to the max good lord and then run in the back of Kurt Busch uh, a couple of times sorry Kurt I know we're teammates we'll talk about it Monday and just like that one corner and we're up to 19th and I don't like how that cut so we're gonna have to put in a transition but uh, into the bus stop Past whoever's in the 43. It's John Andretti. I don't know why I struggled. And then we're just going to put him in the tire barrier for fun because we're a dickhead. Uh, I'm going to leave that transition the same so you guys have to deal with it. Shock change is we're going three wide. Emulator is going to start dying, which actually may have helped me here as we just sneak our way between Terry Labonte and Michael Waltrip and then get by Mikey and then break checked by Steve Park because he was pissed I passed his teammate, I don't know. And then we're gonna do the only rational thing to try and pass Steve Park, we're gonna go on the grass and then we would later outbreak him, which I should have left because it was pretty cool. And now we're gonna go past the two Evernham cars. At least I think that was an Evernham car, it kinda looked like it. Definitely was um, the 19 car of Jeremy Mayfield. And then back to battling with our teammate and yeah, we're just gonna run him out of space because we're the best teammate there is and then we're gonna blow the last corner because we felt bad so we wanted to give him his spot back and then we're all gonna pit and i'm gonna try and make it closer and uh it can't get much closer than that that was a good nascar that was a great pit entry, entry right on his back bumper <laughs> just horrible we would cycle back out into fourth uh we got jumped by rusty wallace we would or yeah no we would cycle back out in the third excuse me somebody stayed out really long i don't know who it was but we'd make quick work for Rusty and then back to battling our teammate Jeff Burton for the win as we somehow slid through turn one with no incidents. And I was feeling bad about what happened at the second to last corner, so I didn't dive bomb him into the bus stop like an absolute psychopath. That would just have to wait if the dive bomb was going to come. As we get through the carousel pretty well, we're going to close the gap up very nicely right up to the back bumper. Emulator tries to have a stroke again. We're going to the outside. Nope, just kidding, stupid. We're going back inside. 
And we are going to be door to door with Jeff Burton once again going into the second to last corner. I think it's turn seven. And we're just going to slide up and drill him again because we can't pass anybody clean. I, do, I, I don't know what to tell you. I can't do it on a controller. And then we almost blow the last corner again, just like we did when we came to pit stops. And we are going to edge him out. Wow. Close <laughs> finish. Oh, shit. So we get the job done as we head to Darlington in the Southern 500. Like off the high of back-to-back -back -back wins. Oh, We're going to take the pole at Darlington. And we would lead up until this moment where we would get in the wall. Little Darlington stripe. Getting a little squirrely coming off the corner and our championship rival, just like we did with his dad, we're battling Dale Jr. And Jr.'s gonna send it and almost send us. Freaking asshole. And then we almost wreck ourselves because we're great and then we're just gonna squeeze him down because we don't take that disrespect. Mark Martin is sick of everybody's shit as we almost lose it again and then we try to wreck him half successfully as he gets just drilled. And now we have a nice little gap to work with. Uh, totally planned because we needed all of it for pit stops because good god I mean I should just make I should just make a video on me and ed ed entering pit road we're not gonna take the damage repairs and we would cycle back out to the lead but we would have to fight off a hornet's nest that included Dale Jr. and Dale Jarrett and Jeff Green of all people as we try a little experimental line uh, Almost taking out Dale Jarrett. Definitely not the fastest way around the racetrack. Although I will admit, I did like running like just below the white line in three and four as we almost bust our ass once again. Um, I'm just, I'm so good at the video game. I mean, you don't want to be on my outside. It, you just run into me. I don't know what happens as we sneak back by Dale Jarrett. And I mean, just look at this precision. I mean, it's just off the charts. That little drift is so fast around the track is then we're going to door slam DJ because he has enough titles on the channel so far. He has a lot of them. I don't even know how many of them. As we're going to give ourselves another almost Darlington stripe and then we're going to decide, you know what, maybe we'll take it easy on you today, DJ. And not just absolutely annihilate him turning down the hill like we almost did because we're a buffoon. And then, like I said, I liked running that little line below the white line, and we're going to try and sneak our way past, excuse me, coming through. Only he gets a big run off the top, and we're neck and neck going into one, which can only result in good things, right? Like, this is just going to end so great. Just waiting for it. Just waiting for it. It's going to be fine. We did great. Oh, uh, not so much. Um... That's my not bad. how I wanted to get my there. Bad. I actually think I said my bad in the recording. But somehow we get run down again because we suck. And Dale Jarrett has had enough of our shit as he sends us up into the wall. And we're going to come down and pinch him. And let him know that I'm not happy about the fact that he ran me over for no reason when I'm trying to drive on a controller. And we all know how hard trying to drive on a controller is. And then we're going to have to hold off Dale Jr. and Dale Jarrett yet again. And what was honestly one of the more fun races, other than the fact that I got ran down by like a while back, is we're gonna save that, obviously. Most skilled person also saving that. Most skilled person on this channel when it comes to NASCAR Holy 2000. Shit, I can't believe we hung probably on. the 850th worst or ranked YouTuber as we win at Darn. So after back-to-back -back wins, maybe back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, I can't remember. I had to take a little break from uh, recording. But after Pocono, we were down bad, and now we're up 33 points with three races left in the season. Um, we're close, boys. We're close. We've won half the races this season, and we only finish in the top five when we win. So, yeah. <laughs> this is abysmal. On to Richmond, where our first lap was good enough to put us on the pole. The second lap, we didn't really need to do anything. Uh, we didn't go faster anyway, so it doesn't matter. Still pole position, and then we're going to go to battle. Not with Scott Wimmer, unfortunately. I would have been very happy to do battle with one of the Kings. Um, instead, we're going to do battle with Sterling Marlin, and I don't know how we don't hit him there. I'm impressed. We should count all the clean passes I make. As we're just going to hang on to it around the outside, almost get ourselves spun because why not? I would still blame the computer as we're going to jump ahead 
A couple of laps later, nobody to blame but ourselves here, as we're gonna door slam the wall. Uh, just pancake it. That would not be good in real life, as we just hand Sterling Marlin the lead, because we're so benevolent. I mean, this is a Mark Martin uh, year. I was gonna say career, but it's just one year. It's not a whole career, obviously. As we have a little bit of issue getting into one, and we're just gonna sneak by on the inside. Uh, again, not the cleanest pass in history, but it's cleaner than some of the other ones I've made. And then we're gonna make an ass out of ourselves in three and four because, of course, we are. I mean, what else? What else are we supposed to do? I mean, I'm just such a nice guy. I gotta give it back to him. So, starting in dead last, we did pit under the caution. Nobody else pit with us, and that's gonna cause some issues as my emulator once again decides it just has had enough. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of all the cars in front of me or what, but uh, we're going to drive into our teammate Greg Biffle and Todd Bodine, just for the hell of it. Um, hadn't seen either of them the whole video. Wanted to give them a hug and high five. You know, just being the king that we are. As we're going to cut ahead, and I talked about it, green flag pit stops. Well, yeah, Elliot Sadler hitting right in front of us. I don't know why it didn't clock in my brain that they were pitting and then I somehow forgot again that they were going to pit so I just moved Ryan Newman out of the way he shouldn't have been there he shouldn't have been there he should have given me the whole track he knows what a menace I am in this race and unfortunately it would come back to bite us very soon here in this race God bless no. Okay, Dale Jr. must have had a bad day, because I don't know how this is even possible, but we're still eight points up. Oh, no. Are we going to choke? Are we really going to choke this? Well, it is a Mark Martin year sim race, whatever, career year thing. I don't freaking know, but we qualify fifth at Kansas, and we're going to put that... Um, using our own ability to shift to good use as we are going to jump three wide going into turn one because why not we're the championship leader by eight points we need as many points as we can get and what better way to do that than to get five bonus points for leading a lap when i don't even know where dale jr's at probably somewhere languishing in the back um i really don't know how he was i mean other than the couple of races where he ran second i really don't know how he ended up so far up the point standings but we are going to lead lap number one here at Kansas, and then this would turn into an all-out duel. Or not really duel, because duel would be two people, but a truel, maybe? Um, a trio duel. I don't know. But me, Ryan Newman, and Jimmy Johnson are going to go at it for many laps. Um, I've never driven Kansas in this game, and you can tell, because, I mean, you... I mean, maybe you can't tell. I don't know. Maybe I have driven Kansas. Maybe I'm lying to you guys. But we're going to make a nice little move. Again, I don't know what it is with tri-ovals in this game. Quad-ovals, tri-ovals. But they seem to go so slow. We got a huge run. And we're still door-to-door -door with Ryan Newman. Managed not to hit him. We only gave a slight tap to Jimmy Johnson. It's improvement, people. Um, as we're just going to let Ryan Newman have the inside. Almost spin ourselves. Uh, another incredible, incredible save. And then I think soon it'll be time, well obviously, laps starting to wind down. It's almost time for pit stops, and here we are, following Ryan Newman in, and, I mean, by the grace of God, we're not going to speed. Oh, no. We oh, sped. no. Uh, because of course we did. I was doing so good. Well, late to tell me not to forget just, the pit I gave speed one little asshole. bump to the throttle and sped on pit road. However, it would not hurt us too bad. We would only, I say only, we would cycle out to fifth. And that's where we would stay until two laps to go. Where we're going to battle with Ricky Rudd and Jeff Gordon. We are catching the front two. And I'm determined to help Jimmy Johnson get a win if I can't get the win. That was my whole goal. He's here hounding Ryan Newman. And then we almost, I mean, almost just destroy ourselves and Jeff Gordon again in the process. Because, again, such a benevolent and kind soul. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. They're not actually sponsoring this. And we are going to blow turns one and two because it's been a while since we've done that. It's not like it's an every race occurrence or, every, or anything. Trying to hold off Ricky Rudd. 
Jeff Gordon's starting to fall back, so really it's only Ricky Rudd we have to worry about. I want to catch the front two so bad, and I try a little, little bit too hard. Just a little too hard. Ricky Rudd gets back by us. We're going to hold off Jeff Gordon somehow, and we'll come home fourth. Oh, man. I think Ryan Newman just won that race. Ah, he did. How cool. <laughs> Only took him six years in the freaking 20-year sim. Good lord. It all comes down to this. Talladega. Race 12 of 12. We're 31 points ahead of Dale Jr. I don't know where we need to finish the race at to beat him, but I know he's probably going to win the race, so we need to finish close. This has been a grind. This has been a huge pain in the ass. But we are going into the last race to try and win Mark Martin a championship. This would be huge. There will probably be flying cars in real life in 2023 if Mark Martin does this. Like the meme that's like, uh, you know, humanity if whatever happened back then happened now. Or human humanity now if whatever happened then actually whatever you know what i mean i'm just gonna put a picture of the meme you'll know what i mean but here we go dega race 12 of 12 winning mark martin a championship i'm recording this before i even race but we're gonna happen positive thoughts positive results and the positive results would not start until the races we would qualify not great we would qualify 26 surely juniors on oh the look who we're starting next to Great commentary by, um, I guess, past me, technically? Yeah, past me, recording me. Now this is me doing the voiceover on the list of things I did not expect, starting next to Dale Jr. And that was past me again. Uh, so I forgot to set up the manual transmission part of the whole deal. I was so excited to get in and race, I just jumped right in. But really all we have to do is finish ahead of Dale Jr. and everything will be a-okay as we make a clean pass let the angels sing uh D J dale jr jeff gordon giving us a push good god i mean i finished recording this this morning very early in the morning you can tell i'm tired and we're just gonna body kenny schrader out of the way because why not we made one clean pass we had to back it up with a not so clean pass and then we try to tuck in behind jeff gordon and almost absolutely annihilate ourselves I mean, just such skill on display. Oh, somebody blew up. Is it going to check everybody up? It is. As more great insight from me while I'm driving. Um, this is really the only race I talked during. I think I'm going to try the same pit strategy I tried at uh, Daytona. If my emulator will stop dying. And, I mean... If you forgot from the beginning of the video, it's literally just pitting for two tires and we're going to get a speeding I penalty know. because why not make things a little bit more difficult for ourselves here in the last race of the season when we're trying to win a championship, we're going to cycle past all these cars somehow. Shout out the two tire call. I feel like a genius. We're up into fourth and we are going to breeze past Rusty Wallace into third place and try to track down the leader. Surely that's not going to happen. Oh, look, we're on their back bumpers now. I really don't know how we got here, and now my intention is to put push Matt Kenseth to the win since he was so gracious to let me win the Daytona 500. I figured I would repay him and give him a push here at Talladega. No! I was honestly so disappointed that Matt Kenseth blew up, but that only left one thing for us to do, is we are going to go past Bobby Labonte with two laps to go, and I am going to let past me take us out. Thank you so much for having me. We've done it, boys. We are champs. Mark Martin, 2002 Winston Cup champ. climbing out a champ you're a champ mark martin i can't believe it either and just like that folks mark martin is a cup series champion one time cup champ uh we won seven races of the 12 
Average finish of 9.6. Not great. But uh, eight top fives. We finally got a top five without winning. Nine top tens out of 12. Only a couple of DNFs. Um, it, I, incredible. I mean, this was one of the most... Uh, this is difficult. I had to actually practice for it. Um, man, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm so stoked I actually did it. If you enjoyed this, hammer the like button. Um, I've never done a video like quite like this, so this is going to be weird. A lot of voiceover stuff, but if you enjoyed it, hammer that like button. Subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Luke Peterson's going to be one happy man. Luke Carver, whatever his real name is. Who cares? I care. Uh, but yes, Mark Martin, Cup Series Champion, baby. Let's go.